The woman apparently believed Ashish Prashar was Muslim because of the kafaya, the scarf he wears, a gift from a Muslim woman he once worked with. Before he knew it, the woman hurled her cell phone at him as he held his young son. Which I duck away from, and I place my son behind my legs, and as I come back around, she threw her hot coffee at me, which clipped me on my shoulder, and I felt it was hot when a bit splattered on me, but it would have hit my son head on if he was still in my arms. Get the f out! Get the f out! I'm not gonna do that. The woman then appeared to lunge at Mr. Prashar. No matter what form of hate it is, it's, uh, it's uh, deplorable to uh, engage in hate against any group, including Jews and including Muslims. Still, there is plenty of it around these days. Yesterday, police say two women on Riverside Drive attacked a Jewish woman in a disagreement over the posters showing kidnapped Israeli citizens being held in Gaza. In October alone in New York City, there were 101 total bias incidents, nearly 70 against people perceived to be Jewish, eight against people perceived to be Muslim, and seven against people perceived to be gay. All of those numbers up dramatically over the same month last year. And much of it is fueled, it seems, by the war in the Middle East. I'm sad that people are not safe. I'm sad that brown people now have to worry about their children's safety. Not just their own, which is bad enough, that somebody's willing to go out there and actually try to physically burn and attack a child. Prosecutors are asking both the governor and the legislature for more tools to combat bias crime, including classifying more kinds of incidents as hate crime. Reporting live from Columbus Circle, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jim, Jim, thank you. We do.